I worship you, Lord God. I worship you. I worship your holy name. You are worthy, O oh God. You are worthy to be praised. You're worthy to be magnified today, Lord Jesus. I thank you, O oh God, for the lovely sunshine. I thank you for the balmy, fresh air. I thank you, O oh God, O oh Father, and many, O oh God, hearts are failing them for fear. I thank you today, O oh God, that in the spite of the challenges that I face, in spite of when things don't go the way that I want them to go, you are right there. O oh God, your word says that you know me. <laughs> That's amazing, O oh God, because you are the celebrity of all celebrities, and yet you know me. A lot of times we get excited because we know you. But today I'm excited because you know me. That means you know exactly where I am. You know exactly what I'm going through. You know exactly what I'm feeling. You are totally aware of every aspect of my life. And so you know me, oh God. And then I'm your sheep, oh God. And you say, my sheep know my voice. So God, this morning I hear you speaking to me through circumstances. I hear you speaking to me through challenges. I hear you speaking to me through those that love me and care about me. I hear you speaking to me through so many different circumstances this morning, oh God. And I hear your voice. I hear that you're saying that I need not to be so concerned with the things of this world. That I need not to be so consumed, oh God, by the challenges and the problems that I face. But rather, oh God, I need to be consumed with your presence. I need to be consumed with your glory. You know me, oh God. And you say, and my sheep follow me, oh God. And you said, oh Father, so you know me, oh Father. And I thank you for that today. And oh God, and I hear your voice. And I thank you for that today. And then I follow you. I follow you, oh God. You said, uh, if you feed somebody that's hurting, you said, if I visit somebody that's sick or, or somebody that's locked up and in prison, you said, if I become other-centered rather than self-consumed, oh Father, then, oh God, I'm following in your way. So today I thank you, oh God. As a as a recovering addict, I thank you today, oh God, that struggles with uh, pornography or addiction, oh God, or food addiction, oh God, all these things, love and relationship addiction, all these things today don't have to consume me, oh God, because I'm following in your way. So Father, based on that today, every person that I know that is sick, every person I know that is going through a relationship challenge, every person I know that is struggling with cancer today, diabetes today, they're struggling, oh God, with, with oh God, uh, knowing who they are and they're, and they're struggling with depression and anxiety and coming under the attack of the evil one. I cancel it in the name of Jesus. I decree and declare that the power of heaven, oh God, is greater than the prince and the powers of this earth. You are the king of kings and you are the Lord of lords. And I acknowledge you this morning. I acknowledge healing for my brothers, oh God. I acknowledge healing for my sisters, oh God. I acknowledge healing, oh God, for my family, oh God. I acknowledge healing for relationships relationship and marriages that are on the rocks. Uh, Father, in the name of Jesus today, I speak a blessing over every person under the sound of my voice. Uh, I decree and declare, oh God, that addicts are going free. Uh, I declare that those that are demon possessed uh, or oppressed, oh God, that power is being broken. Uh, every legal right the enemy has, uh, every trade and agreement that has been made, oh God, those under the sound of my voice, oh God, bring it to their awareness now and let them cancel it uh, by confessing, oh God, the blood of Jesus Christ uh, and that he died on the cross uh, to give them life, oh Father. And as they do that, oh God, let them decree, reveal to them, oh God, the point, oh God, oh God of their bondage. And as you have done in my life, oh Father, and you have set me free. And you said you came to set the captives free. So today I pray for every warrior for freedom out there. I pray for every man out there, oh God, that he would be aware that his family, oh God, oh Father, is what you have given him a responsibility for. Help me to take care of my family, even when I mess up the finances. Help me to confess to my brothers, sisters, brothers and sisters, Sisters, oh God, even more oh God, when I've lost my way, help me not to live under guilt and under shame and under anxiety and depression, but help me to live under the power and the anointing of the Holy Spirit, under the covenant, the chart, the word of God, which is the chart that helps me, oh God, to navigate the seas of life, to navigate the struggles that I face, and to realize that every, oh God, adversity, there's an opportunity to overcome the strategies of the evil one, that every character defect reveal is so that I can confess it to the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords today, oh God. I pray that your anointing, I pray for
pray for the country. I pray for America. I pray for every state, all 52 states. I pray for the Caribbean and South America. I pray that the anointing and the power of the Holy Spirit will descend, oh God. That, oh God, you would continue to expose, oh God, the sin and degradation. Not because, oh God, we want to judge and condemn, but simply, oh God, then we begin to expose the sin and we begin to confess our sins. The word says you are faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from every, oh God, every unrighteous, oh God, every iniquitous act, oh Father. I repent for my country. I repent for our leaders. I repent, oh, for our religious leaders and our secular leaders. I ask that the blood of Jesus Christ would be applied. I ask that they would come to know you as Lord and Savior today. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you because greater will be our latter days than our former days. We confess our need of you. We confess that we have fallen short. We have sinned. We have gone the ways of the iniquitous. But, oh, Father, today we're rising up and we're beginning to know and to realize that Jesus Christ is the King of kings and Lord of lords. We acknowledge you, O oh God, as the God above all gods. We acknowledge you, O oh God, as the way, the truth, and the life. And today I speak a miracle. Everyone under the sound of my voice, you're healed. If you got, oh God, anything in your stomach, you're healed. If you got anything in your brain, oh, put your hands over on this video right now, you're healed. In the name of Jesus, I prophesy over you that you're going to walk free. I speak over you that you're going to walk under the power and the anointing of the Holy Spirit with the manifest presence of God going before you. Every legal right of hell to destroy you. Every evil word and curse spoken over you is broken right now. I decree and declare it in the name of Jesus. This is the day that the Lord has made. I will be glad I am rejoicing into it. He's a good, good father. That's who he is. He's a good, good father and we're loved by him. He loves us. He embraces us. And so father today, as I look at the beauty of your creation or as I enter on the way to work, man, I don't want you to be depressed. I don't want you to be anxious. The victory is ours, warriors. And I want you to shout, Jesus is Lord. That's it, period. I'm out. Have a great day in Jesus' wonderful name. God is good and he's good all the time. His ways are past finding out. Lord, I worship you. Lord, I praise you. Lord, I glorify your holy name. You are worthy, 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 worthy of all the praise. Amen and amen. That's it.